Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel and today's tutorial we're diving into GeoSpy AI, an advanced tool that uses uh, artificial intelligence to determine the location of the image. So, um, whether you're an investigator or OSINT or researcher just curious about where a photo was taken, this tool can help you find answers. So let's get started. So to access GeoSpy AI, you just go to the website GeoSpy.ai. Then after that, just gonna create an account, log in, and some you know features you might need for registration. So, um, most of this like the GSPY itself is paid. So, but you can try a free trial here. So, we're just gonna try GSPY right here. We're gonna click try demo. We can click like any like let's pick Tokyo right here, and it's going to you know pick the location like right here. So it's like in Tokyo, so that's pretty cool. Um, we're gonna try and logging in and see if we can upload a picture of Germany, like a random picture of Germany. I don't know where, but I'm just gonna upload it. So we're just gonna log in using our Google account because it's easier and fast. We're just gonna wait for the GOP AI to uh to kick in. You know what I'm saying? Okay. I think it's broken. All right, it's broken. Anyways, so you can go similar images here. You can like compare to similar images, so that's pretty cool. So let's say it's accurate. Why not? You know, try demo again. We can pick another city. So we have this one. This looks like New York. I'm guessing. Uh, no sense for San Francisco. So it correctly determined the location based on the picture itself. So. We're going to try another one, another picture here, one last one. So let's try this, this dirty area here. So this is on Kowalinga, United States. That's pretty cool. So yeah, guys, um, you know, once the upload or, you know, if you did pay for the pricing of GS by AI, so there are pricing here, product, there's plus pro and vision. So you can pay for this. Uh, Pranos right here. So yeah, plus pro and vision. That's pretty cool. So you know, uh, the system compares the image to its extensive data data set to estimate a possible location. This process typically takes a few seconds or to a minute, so depending on the picture. So after processing, the AI provides its best guess for the location. You'll see the coordinates on the map and map pin marking the estimated spot. So it is pretty cool. In some cases, the AI may provide multiple possibilities with conference levels. So there's also similar images. So there's no similar images here. It's gonna bring the latitude, longitude, you know, city, and country. So that's pretty cool. So if the estimated location looks promising, you can verify it using Google Maps. So we can just go to Google Maps and track this down. So Google Maps here. We can just try and you know track this down. Our longitude and latitude. So I'm gonna try and paste this in. Look it up. I see here. It's right here. So that's pretty cool. So very very accurate. And you know, use case for GeoSpy AI. Um, you can do OSINT and investigative work, geolocate images for research and verification, and travel exploration. Find out where a beautiful image was captured, and fact checking verify the authenticity of viral images. If you're looking for similar tools, you know, consider Google Lens. So Google has one, so they have Google Lens, but it's not really for map specific uh, case uses. You also have Thin Eye Universe Image Search. There we go. And you also have Yandex Image Search. So a bunch of these are just a bunch of image search. So they don't really specify. I mean, Google Lens does full location recognition, but Yandex Image Search is known for strong geolocation matching. And you also have last but not least XIF tools. This is for metadata, you know, extraction. So GSPy AI is a powerful geolocation tool, but remember, it's not always one hundred percent accurate. So always cross-check results for verification. Let me know in the comments if you tried this tool and what you think. So if you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell. And you know, uh, subscribe for more AI and tech content. And I'll see you guys on the next one.